Hello and welcome to the special edition of the Homeland Security Report. I'm David Jones. Lasers in combat. Laser beam weapons have ignited the imagination of millions of moviegoers who watch sci-fi movies in which these weapons were used. For many years, scientists have been trying to build operational weapon systems that will use laser beams instead of projectiles. These attempts were unsuccessful so far in spite of huge investments. The US has invested in a Boeing 747 carried anti-ballistic laser ABL systems. Nevertheless, it is far from operational status and no money is poured to this program any longer. The US and Israel have also teamed up to develop the Nautilus, a laser gun designed to kill rockets. However, thus far, the technology demonstrator was big and far from operational status. Raphael is currently developing the Iron Beam system, which fires lasers at mortar shells. Thus far, it has a proven high rate of accuracy. The system is designed to deal with threats that fly on too small a trajectory to be engaged efficiently by Iron Dome anti-rocket batteries. But Israel is using laser beams with great success not as a weapon, but instead as a weapon guide. This success stems directly from the fact that a laser beam is coherent, precise and steady. With these virtues it can be used to illuminate targets from great distances. If you can illuminate targets, why not develop weapons at home on the laser spot? This has been achieved years ago and many companies are offering laser homing weapon systems. Recently, Israel Aerospace Industries IAI, have unveiled an operational concept that is based on the use of many lazy designators. The MBT Weapon Division of IAI is manufacturing different laser-directed weapon systems, some of which are highly classified. Now the division is using these systems for a new combat concept that will be based on multiple designators that will be networked. An MBT source told IHLS that the fact that laser designators have become lighter and cheaper enables their vast use. Laser sensors have also become easier to install on different weapon systems and that is enabling our new concept to be implemented. MBT has developed a command and control system that enables the different designators to talk with each other in a plain language. An infantry unit identifies a target but is unable to open fire because it is an inferior location that will enable efficient fire. The target details are automatically relayed to the command and control system and it allocates another unit that is well located to destroy the enemy using laser guided weapons. The weapons can be fired from the ground, sea or air and will all be allocated very precisely to the target or targets. Each of the laser beams is coded, a fact that enables to allocate a weapon system to each designator or some to many. The combinations are many and only the combat requirements are the factor that determines the numbers. IAI's MBT division not only developed the network designator system, but also offers a variety of laser-guided weapon systems to go with it. Here again, what is presented is just the tip of a variety of such weapon systems that most are classified. The MBT division also manufactures the LAHAT, acronym for Laser Homing Attack. This is an advanced laser-guided missile for precision attack. The LAHAT can be launched from a gun or canister deployed on a wide variety of platforms, including land vehicles, helicopters and tanks. Each LAHAT missile is less than 1 meter long and weighs less than 13 kilograms. Thus, it is very well suited for use on lightweight helicopters as well as by light vehicles and AFVs, armored fighting vehicles. A LAHAT launcher fully loaded with four missiles weighs less than 80 kilograms. Despite its small size and light weight, LAHAT is highly effective against a variety of target types, including tanks at ranges well over 8 kilometers. LAHAT can accurately hit moving targets, including enemy helicopters. LAHAT's long range enables helicopters to engage and destroy enemy forces while avoiding the enemy's air defenses. In its tank gun launch version, LAHAT is handled by the 105mm or 120mm gunner as a standard gun round. The missile performs precision homing on a laser designated target, ensuring first shot tank kill at ranges over 6 km. LAHAT is capable of accurately hitting moving targets including helicopters. The MBT division of IAI is currently working to increase the use of laser guided weapons and improve them. The limited material we were allowed to expose is an indication of what is being done in the division's labs. That's it for this week. Thank you for watching this edition of the Special Report. See you at the same time, same place next week. And for further information, please click the link below.